Hello YouTubers, this is 49 Lego Lover here with you today. And right now I'm going to show you how to build the Lego City Wing Plow. It's got a few Technic pieces here and there, but overall it's not bad to build. Most people should have these pieces. Start out with, you're going to need a 1x8, or a 8x3 uh, slant piece. It looks like this with the two and then it slants and then you're also going to need this two by two that spins if you can see it so you're going to want to attach that right to the upper corner here and then it should be able to spin like that so there you go and then you're going to want to take this piece. It is a 2x2 two two with a uh, Technic connector piece on the bottom. Or, I guess it's not really the Technic connector. But it's the piece that connects a Technic uh, connector to regular bricks. If you need a 2x2. Two two. But, uh, next you're going to put that on the back of that so now it should spin like that and then you're going to need a Technic piece that goes from the round to the cross or plus sign whatever you want to call it and you're also going to need one of these it's a T-brick or T-connector it goes from the cross and then on the upper T part uh, it's got just a hole so cross hole then you're going to want to put the cross part on the bottom. And then next you're going to want to take this black connector and put it right in there. And then you're going to want to take this yellow um, 1x5 hold brick with no studs or anything, it's the thick kind. And if you don't have the thick kind, then just take two of the skinny ones. It'll work just as well. And then you're going to put that right where that other hole was. And then so it should move like that. And then also, uh, I forgot to show you that the T-brick does move side to side. So, that's because of the brick that, or the connector that we used. But moving on. Now you're going to want to take another connector and put, it's going to be round on both ends for that one. And then you're going to put that right there, like that. And then you're going to want to take a one by one thick with the hole in the center and put it connected to there. And then it should, the whole function should move around. And if you have a very compact then, um, or actually, I think about the most compact it can be is about like that, so it takes up as much space as the uh, actual blade. But, um, to connect it, I use a lot of different of snow plows, but here's one I'll show you for this video. Uh, just this is a truck I have happen to have lying around. This one usually has a snowplow on it, but I took it off. But now, you can just attach it right to there. Actually, I have this on backwards. So, uh, let's see. So, actually, it should be on this side. I apologize for that. I didn't mean to make it over there uh, force a habit I guess but anyways you want the big part to be what collects the most of the snow and then you just attach it to there or wherever on here you like so like if you want it closer to the vehicle you can put it like that and then angle it as far in and out as you want and then that's what the piece the uh, turning piece does it makes it so that it can go 
a change to road height and um so that it doesn't uh so that it yeah, so that it can keep to road heights no matter how far slanted left and right it is. And then also, if you want to lift it up with this flatbed, it is very easy to just put it across there or even turn, uh, yeah, um, just turn it and put it like that. That's about all you need to do, and then that's your Lego wing claw. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a nice